If you guys are looking for the cheapest coins on the internet right now, make sure to check out my brand new sponsor, MMO EXP. They have the cheapest coins that you can find anywhere on the internet. Use code Poodle at checkout for 5% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Community Guys. And today, we get the brand new Saturday Legends. Sorry, I am slightly late. Not that late, honestly. Pretty early, considering. And someone probably might not be doing it today. Anyway, so, should be the first one anyways, but we're a little bit late. Woke up a little bit late. Didn't have my car to get home. So, took a little bit to get back here, but... We are back in the Madden. Let's go check out these new legends. Hopefully they're fire. From what I saw yesterday, people were a little upset with them, but it is what it is, right? I mean, legends have been underwhelming for quite a while now. We kind of just have to deal with them, and we kind of just have to uh, make the best out of it. So let's see. We're going to be three. Obviously, as per usual, two 99s, one 99 LTD. Hopefully, at least one of them can make the squad or at least be thought about. Guys, we are also in the midst of Rick Premier, so make sure you're getting those done, guys. I already have, I believe, two or three. I did Chase Young, I did Devin Queen, and now uh, guys, low-key, Devin Queen is becoming one of my number one choices. I think just in general, and for next year, he's going to be a super fast middle linebacker, like a user, which is always good. Even if he's going to be a low overall, it's just, like a good user, there's two linebackers. A good user, all he needs is speed, doesn't matter his overall, so that really makes up for a lot of it. He could be super useful for quite a while. Highly recommend you guys give him a shot, but let's get to these legends, guys. Before we get into today's video, make sure you're down below, hit that subscribe button, turn that on to boys, come join the family. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up, as always, if you guys are enjoying the, uh, the content and everything. And that's about it. So let's get to this. Let's go check these out. So we're going to have to filter this by newest, because there's probably so many. There's so many uh, ULs at this point. All right. Okay, so Reggie White is one of the new ones. Left end. He does have a golden ticket, guys. And obviously, this card will be worse than the golden ticket, just because the golden ticket's golden ticket. So let's check them out. 83 speed, 91 acceleration, 98 strength, 96 tackle, 98 play rec, 99 block shed, 99 power movement, 92 finesse move. Now, I personally think this card's pretty good. People didn't really like him, but the thing is, like, if he's not his golden ticket, obviously, so he's not going to be as good. But if you compare him just on the ultimate legend card basis, one of the best run stoppers, 99. Power move, 99. That's all I care about. He has one pass rush move, 99. One block shed, 99. Gonna have 99 play rec. That's bam. Gonna get close to 98, uh, 99 attack. Gonna have 99 strength powered up. And gonna end up around like an 87 speed if you have sprint there powered up in john madden he's gonna be super athletic great pass rusher great run stopper i personally think this card's great definitely a better left end than i had i mean i do i did just sell mine recently actually i'm trying to get some coins up for rick premier so yeah i can't compare him to anything but he is super super good i really do think this reggie white is really good in my opinion guys all the hate on this reggie white was definitely over overstated uh, i mean people have said that reggie white just doesn't play well which could be a good, it could be a possibility. I haven't really rocked at Reggie White this year since it's base legend early in the year. That was really good. But the thing about Reggie White is that his stats are great. So like, it's hard to just not like him. And then obviously his price is pretty expensive right now. But that should come down, could come down as time goes. And guys, real quick, if you guys are looking to get any of these legends or you guys are trying to finish those recruitment mirrors, I recommend doing all 10 personally. Get them all done because you never know which ones are the ones you're going to bang. Like, it would suck to do five of them and then that one guy you didn't do is one that gets all the great upgrades. So, if you guys are looking to pick up those guys, make sure to hit up MMO EXP. The prices just keep going down on that website. Price keep getting cheaper as Madden year starts to die a little bit more. So, make sure you go over there, pick up some coins way cheaper than packs. You can get a ton, like millions, for super, super cheap. Use code Poodle at checkout. You won't regret it, guys. I promise. Now, anyways, let's find some more of these legends. So, we got Reggie White out of the way. We do have two more. Oh, we got Derek Brooks right there. He was right next to my face. Didn't even see him. Derek Brooks. Now, there's a guy that I was at first excited for. I've been looking for some zone S middle linebackers, but there's one thing that really threw me off on this card. 84 block shed. A zone linebacker should also be able to stop the run, in my opinion. But, you get 90 speed. He literally looks like his base. You guys remember his base legend from earlier in the year? He looks just like this card. Hold up. I'm, I'm going to show you guys his base legend. Ah. Let's look this up. His base legend from earlier in the year, guys, looked so similar. Like, I'm no joke. I actually thought I was seeing the same card. All right, let's get out of Ultimate Legend here. And let's go out of here. Hopefully, there's not too many other guys that show up. I just want to show you guys the comparison here to him. So, his base legend from earlier in the year is 90 overall. He had good tackle, good play rec, decent enough speed, and a really low block shed. Yeah, you guys see the pattern on this card? So then you come all the way down to the new Derek Brooks. And he has. Of course, he's not going to show. All right. And then now he has decent enough athleticism, great tackle and play rec, and then bad block shed. Now, I understand that's how the card pattern should be, but I thought by 99 overall, like, things are just like, like, you know, guys, I don't want to say, I don't want them to follow the 2K model where Shaquille O'Neal can shoot threes at 99 overall. But what I do want to say is that I feel like when you're 99 overall, you should be pretty good at a lot of things. It should, cards shouldn't still not be used. Like if you're 99 overall, you should be usable. This card's not that usable. He's too slow, in my opinion, compared to some other lines. You could put just get Shazier or get like 
Troy Polamalu puts my linebacker at that point. Like, why even bother with him? Um, so a better zone, and the block shit is always going to be better. Like, or at least, if this card wants to be good, right? This guy, he, at first he doesn't have a 90 zone for me to even defend him here. What's his zone coverage? His zone coverage is looking like, and 92, okay. So there we go. Defendable. So if you power this guy up and you chem him up, he will end up with a 96-ish zone coverage. Phenomenal. That's great. His speed will get like a 94. That's good enough with everything. But again, like guys like Shazier or Troy Palmal, you can have almost 99. But 94. Now, all that's great. Now, all he would need would be to be would be 90 block shed, in my opinion. Now, benefits of guys like Brooks and guys that can cover. You can kind of cover wide receivers with them a little bit, but still a little too slow for my liking. I think the block shed's too low. In my opinion, had that block shed been a 90, this card could have been great. And he's not a left outside linebacker. He's a right outside linebacker. You could obviously change his position and everything, but... That's Lawrence Taylor's spot. He's locked down always. I, like, I haven't been able to have a right outside linebacker for like five years of Madden. It's always just Lawrence Taylor's spot. Which, I mean, not that that's a bad thing. But, like, at this point, I just wish some players would be switched to left outside. Because left outside does not get enough good players. I don't know if it's just me. I really feel like left outside linebackers do not get the love that uh, right outside linebackers get in this game. Not just, like, they get cards, but they're never rated as good. Or they never look as good on paper. It's just a really weird dynamic that they're always doing. Now, let's find this final guy, Jonathan Ogden right here, right tackle for the Baltimore Ravens. So, I actually think this card's great. So, 99 strength, great. Six foot nine. Jesus, I forget how tall that guy was. I hope if I click out of this, it's not, he wasn't, he was the only one, wasn't he? Oh, good, okay. He for sure was the right tackle, right? Let's check that again. But yeah, Jonathan Ogden, like people were saying that he was, you know, all the cards were asked. Jonathan Ogden's good, like, and he's a lineman too, which is like, Obviously, it's not it's not fun, you know. It's not Sean Taylor, which, by the way, Sean Taylor must be coming soon because it has been quite a while. We have not seen Sean Taylor since Christmas. I had my Sean Taylor. I picked up literally the week of Christmas. That is that is absurd. So it's been let's see, January, February, March, April, May. We're in June. That is six months. Six months. There we go. Jonathan Ogden backed up. Okay, so 99 strength. I cannot believe he's 6'9". 95 awareness, 98 pass block, 99 pass block power, 94 pass block finesse, 98 run block, 98 run block power, and 95 run block finesse. I personally do like my right tackles with great run block because of uh, stretch plays and stuff like that, and just keep the edge always locked. So in my opinion, you power this guy up. He ends up with 99 pass block, 99 run block, 99 pass block power, 99 run block power, 96 run block finesse, 95 run block finesse. So pass block finesse. So in my opinion, you put zone run on him, you pretty much max out his run block finesse, and he's just slightly short in pass block finesse. But other than that, this card's pretty much a maxed out 99. Um, right tackle. Nothing against this card. There is not one single thing you could say against this card. This card is amazing. Impact blocking 98. Now, guys, this is an ultimate legend right here. People said today was asked. That's not true. This is an ultimate legend right here. Jonathan Ogden is the best lineman. He is going to move mountains for you. In my opinion, best one today. I think he's super great. And like, I understand he's a lineman, but this is what you need. This is what an ultimate legend should be. An ultimate ultimate legend. They should max out. They should literally come out on your team jacked out of everything that's what they should be in my opinion this is what ultimate legend should look like now i'm gonna go check the pack market see if there's a little pack on there for me to open up for this video probably isn't um no i'm not i'm not i'm not doing that hmm i'm gonna open one of these i want to see what the what you pull out of these obviously just a 93 but you know guys the thing with these packs are they're not horrible if you open them with coins just because if you want to get rookie premieres done you can just open these packs up and just give yourself a shot at pulling uh like that, look at that, like that, just like that. I got Von Bell 96. I got enough stuff to sell, and I still get this for the set. Let's go check that out real quick. I'm pretty sure this could be a pretty decent... I was thinking about this yesterday. I think this could be a decent method. If you just sell what you get in the pack, and then you put them into the thing, you could be getting some pretty cheap uh, tokens. Just want to show you guys this before the end of this video. So let's go to newest. So let's say Von Bell sells for 35 kids. I, I, I actually made coins on that pack. Obviously, you're not going to pull that every time. But the point is that you pull something worthwhile. So let's see, how much does that actually, let's check how much that last card goes for. At 93. So Jeff Okuda, these cards go for about 21K. Hold up. So if they go for 21K, it's actually not really worth buying. You should just always buy the pack. Yeah, you just buy the pack and you just sell everything. Technically, you save more. Yeah, so don't buy anything off the block. And let's see, how many can you make off these? So, to get a token with these guys, it's going to cost two of them, right? Two, and it's repeatable as many times as you want. Guys, that pack method could be the way to get a free gold, uh, for, not free gold ticket, some free Rick Premier players. No lie, open those packs, sell what you get back, put them in. You could easily, at worst case scenario, you probably make at least 10k back per pack. 
so you could probably be getting these like at 13 to 11k per you're spending so it could probably cost about 100k per week for me at that at that rate that's a really good value. i'm gonna make a video on this guys tomorrow i'm gonna make a video going over this tomorrow show you guys the value and the cheapest way to get these so stay tuned for that tomorrow dropping sunday but guys about it for the video hope you guys enjoyed if you're new to the channel make sure down below hit that subscribe button turn on the boys come join the family make sure this video a big thumbs up as always and if you haven't already comment down below let me know what you think of these legends i'm out peace